Starting the day off this morning with a chai tea from Teamy Blends. I've been asked to collaborate with them, so they've kindly sent me some um, chai tea to try. Um, it's zero smart points for the tea. They've also sent me some honey spoons, which look like this. I've never seen them before. I'm absolutely fascinated by them. I they are one smart point for the spoon. I have put one in and it is melting away nicely. Now I don't take sugar in my tea normally. I don't like it, I find it too sweet, but chai tea is quite sweet anyway and it really does add to it. It's absolutely lovely. There you go. That should be. Oh, still melting. Fascinated. Never seen them before. So I've got some discount codes. I'll pop them under um, the video in the description. Following on from my hot cross bun and bacon um, experiment the other day, it went so well I've decided to go a little bit further. Um, this is my breakfast for 15 smart points so it's quite pointy but then it's Saturday, my points have reset and this is my brunch. I've got two of these Bramley apple and cinnamon hot cross buns from Aldi. They, I've weighed them, there's 120 grams which is 11 smart points. I've then got three bacon medallions. Now I normally weigh my bacon raw, but for some reason the app's gone a little bit haywire this morning. I can use the scanner on it, but I can't put stuff in. So normally I just put bacon medallions and then work out the grams. However, this morning I've had to scan the Aldi bacon that I use, which has only got the cooked weight. So I've cooked three bacon medallions there um, and I have, um, weighed them there's 41 grams cooked which apparently is one smart point so that's fine i have then got on there some of the skinny food company's golden syrup which is very nice and it's zero smart points so i've got some of that on there as well this is not going to be to everyone's taste it's really not if you don't like sweet and savory together this isn't going to be to your taste at all um, on the other one i have got 20 grams of vintage cheddar, proper vintage cheddar. Um, I don't like the melting consistency of some of the hot fat cheeses. Um, eat lean cheese isn't too bad, but I wanted proper cheddar on this. Um, if I'm gonna go all out, I might as well go all out. So this is 15 smart points for my brunch. I've had a bite of my cheese on hot cross bun and it is absolutely amazing. I recommend it. If you like sweet and savory together, it is absolutely lovely. The app is still playing up, um, but luckily my afternoon snack is zero pointed and I know it's zero pointed. I've got some of the jelly that I've been making recently. It's just the um, jelly crystals made up with boiling water and then instead of adding cold water, I've added lemonade. So that's half a portion there. I've got a tin of peaches in juice. I've just drained the juice off, so there's zero smart points. And then off on the top, just to give it a little bit of um, sweetness, although it is sweet enough. I've got some Skinny Food Company salty caramel sauce, which is zero pointed. So hopefully the app's up and running in a bit because I need to do my tea. This is my tea for seven smart points. It's so far removed from a meal that I would have before, it's ridiculous. Before I would have had a pile of pasta, I would have put a load of cheese on the top, then I would have put the sauce on, then I'd put a loads more cheese on the top. Then I would have um, had like three pieces of garlic bread with cheese on it as well. So. This has got no cheese on whatsoever. Um, my tastes have changed quite significantly. I do like cheese, but I can actually eat a meal without it. Um, I've got some salad for zero. I've got a chicken breast. It was 240 grams, so that's two smart points. Um, raw, so that's two smart points. And I've got some um, pasta and some tomato sauce that I made the other day. So there is 55 grams of whole wheat pasta there, which is five smart points. I have also used some sauce that I made the other day um, for a pizza. It's literally onion and garlic fried in a little bit of water. I've added a carton of passata and just cooked it all the way down. So, and then I've added some um, Italian herbs, dried ones, just a few. Um, yep, so that's my tea for seven smart points. I am having a light and more lemon flavour, which is two smart points, and I've got a load of blueberries on the top for zero. I've decided to do some baked oats. They are in the oven at the moment. I had a banana that was on the turn and it was much worse than that one is. Um, so I've mashed a banana. I chucked in one medium egg um, and mixed that together. So one medium egg on 
um, the green plant is two smart points. I measured out 40 grams of oats, porridge oats. Um, that's four smart points. I've then put in a teaspoon of baking powder. And then instead of putting sweetener in, um, I squidged some of that in. It's from my protein, it's butterscotch syrup. So I've put a good squidge of that in instead of sweetener. Then I bought these blueberries yesterday, so they definitely need using today. They're absolutely fine still, but I will use them today. So I've chucked half of those in, mixed it together and chucked it in the oven. And I'll have the other half later with something else. So I'll show you the oats in a bit. These are my blueberry baked oats that I made earlier. So it's my evening snack for six smart points. And I've got a cup of normal tea. There is 30 mils of Arla Best of both in there, which is zero smart points. Up to 35 is still zero, but I've only put 30 in there. So that is my evening snack for six smart points. I'm ending the day on 31 of 30 smart points.